Hi guys, it is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous, and I'm talking a, a spectacularly beautiful, over-the-top beautiful day here in the end times, in the drought-plagued paradise of the Finger Lakes of New York, where it is a gorgeous Memorial Day Sunday. That would be Sunday, May 28th. 2023 or somewhere around there so anyway this is our opening weekend at bugs in a jar farm and uh we are full to the gills we have all three tiny houses uh booked up this weekend i guess it's girls weekend it's all girls here uh this weekend girls and dogs and so anyway I'll have to do a separate rant about this uh, clueless moron who shows up with her pit bull. Uh, anyway, that's another story, but I'm going to, this story, uh, I'm going to send out to my buddy, Jeremy Jimenez. So, uh, Jeremy, you can figure out why I'm sending this out to you. Uh, so anyway, this, this one woman, she shows up with her dog, not a pit bull, but not a particularly friendly dog. And she shows up here carrying a, you know, she brings in an ice chest of food. I don't know why this woman brought all this damn food with her, but she brought enough food for six people for a week. So anyway, uh, she did not realize, I guess, that there was a community kitchen down by the uh, down by the house. You know, a full community kitchen down by the house with the stove and refrigerator and all this. And so she was thrilled to hear that because she wanted to put her food in the refrigerator. Well, I hadn't taken the damn refrigerator out of the uh out of the garage you know that refrigerator has not been used in six months you know when we shut down the uh tiny house uh six months ago you know we put the refrigerator back in the garage but that thing has not been opened in six months that refrigerator so she said she would like she, you know, she's looking for the refrigerator, and I told her, I said, well, you know, I haven't even gotten it out of the garage this opening weekend. I said, I've got this Yeti cooler up there in your tiny house. I said, it's every bit as good as the refrigerator, you know, with the temperatures this weekend, you know, going down to the 40s at night. I said, everything will stay completely fine. And it's all set up right there in your tiny house. And uh, she said, oh, if you don't mind setting up that refrigerator. So she, she turns down a perfectly good Yeti cooler right there in her tiny house. And so with everything else I had on my list of, to do, I go out there to the garage to set up the refrigerator. You know, it's one of these apartment-sized refrigerators thinking this project should take 10 or 15 minutes with everything I was dealing with yesterday adding the refrigerator so I go into the garage get the refrigerator I muscle it out to you know just outside the garage and I said, well, I guess I should probably swab this thing down since it hasn't been cleaned in six months. And I opened the freezer compartment to this, uh, to this refrigerator, and I was pretty much knocked over backward uh, by this stink, by, by this absolute vomit-inducing stench. How I did not puke, I, I don't know. Uh, fortunately, the woman was not around, although she probably could have smelled this uh, damn refrigerator uh, from, from, the, from the goddamn tiny house. 
And I said, ah, shit. And I look in there, and I'm not sure what it was that uh, did not get taken out of that ref that freezer. I guess someone had left a, maybe it was a chicken wing or a chicken leg or some uh, unidentified body part, I think coming from a dead chicken, and had been sitting in that cooped up little freezer for six months, actually going on seven months that that piece of chicken had been sit, sitting there in that uh, in that little apartment sized freezer I'm telling you guys it was absolutely fucking disgusting and and, and I went oh my fucking God, and this woman is waiting for me to set up the refrigerator. I mean, I ran and I threw the I threw the damn thing in the creek, you know, along with those baby birds that I killed a couple of days ago, and uh, throw the goddamn thing in the creek. And I run in the kitchen, and I'm telling you guys, I mean, I'm grabbing every possible combination. Of, of chemical cleaning agent. I, I mean, I am squirting all kinds of shit in there, scrubbing that shit out, swabbing it out. I could not get the fucking stink out of there. I mean, I'm scrubbing and I'm scrubbing and, I, and I'm using every imaginable kind of uh, <clears throat> thing. And this woman is, you know, is waiting for me to... Uh, set up the refrigerator so I you know I go out there to her and say you know I'm working on it I you know I had to clean it out and stuff and I said but just hold on it's coming <clears throat> good fucking god I mean I was in an absolute total panic that I could not get the stink out of it so uh, I, I mean I went on and on and on so finally I did everything I could and, and it still, you, you could still smell that lingering odor of putrid, dead flesh. Uh, it was still, it was like it had gotten in the damn plastic of the freezer compartment. So I plug in the refrigerator, hoping maybe when the freezer kicks in, that it'll freeze some of that stink out of there. So I get the freezer going and that doesn't seem to be working, so I uh, went into uh, my freezer and I, and I pulled out a, a, a pound of frozen bacon and a bag of frozen tilapia fillets, you know, trying to seal out the stink, you know, carpeting the floor with frozen bacon and tilapia, trying to uh, get that stink out of there. And uh, so anyway, I guess I succeeded because she seemed quite happy. I was going, oh shit, I was, you know, watching her. Uh, I was watching her <clears throat> when she was loading that refrigerator thinking, oh my God, here it comes. The end of my Airbnb super host status. <clears throat> so anyway... So all is fine uh, with that, and so she heads off with the dog. So I go up there because I had already told her, you know, that the uh, the little Coleman stove up there in her tiny house was dirty. That I needed to clean it. I, I told her yesterday. I offered to clean the Coleman stove and uh, that it needed cleaning and she said don't worry about it I, I'm not even going to use it tonight and I've got the kitchen down there whatnot so I said okay I will clean it tomorrow so I go up there to clean the Coleman stove which was gross enough but compared to that freezer it was fresh off the shelf if you know what I mean so uh, I scrubbed down the uh, Coleman stove Got that all nice and shiny. Was very happy with my work. And then decided, what the hell, we might as well knock out the windows. I spent one hour 
cleaning, you know, washing the, those windows in the Blue Dragon tiny house. So uh, I, the stove was clean, all the windows were clean, so I brought the stove back in and I set it down on top of that Yeti cooler. And uh, I was thinking, God damn it, uh, like Hambone, you really should spend 30 seconds cleaning out this uh, cooler. I, I, I knew the cooler could use a cleaning, but I knew it wasn't that dirty because I just brought it because I had it down in Texas with me. I had just brought it back with me. I had been using it myself uh, up until a few days ago. Uh, I had been using the damn Yeti cooler in Blue Dragon and I said okay you've got the cleaner you've got the damn scrub brush and the uh, and, and the paper towels all that shit spend two minutes to clean out the damn Yeti so I take that goddamn Yeti out and I set it up on the picnic table guys <laughs> and you know where this story is going I popped open that Yeti it wasn't nearly the stench of of what happened the day before but I mean my god there was this initial fart of it I'm like what the fuck and I looked inside and it first looked like a human brain was in there it was just this mass uh, of the, the, this puddly goop of moldy ass yellow and gray just this this uh, unidentifiable disgusting blob of shit in there and I'm going what in the fuck and I remembered what it was was a goddamn piece of key lime pie that my buddy from it was visiting from Austin Texas had put in there two weeks ago uh, that fucking piece of key lime pie had sat in there for two weeks and I had told that woman uh, you know to go use that Yeti so uh, unfucking believable I dodged the bullet and uh, I am off to Walmart to get all sorts of goddamn cleaning supplies and scrub brushes and Good God, uh, I, <laughs> I can't believe I dodged that fucking bullet with that woman, not once, but twice. Anyway, Walmart, here I come. Keep that super host status. So my first review got a five star review about how much they love their tiny house. The life of a super host. Get out there and enjoy being a super host while you still can. Bye guys.